Suppose T is a linear transformation from R3 to R3 with the given three transformations. Find matrix A, which is the standard matrix or transformation matrix of T such that T of X equals AX for all X. We just solved this problem by determining the transformations of the vectors E sub one through E sub three. Now I'll take a look at solving the same problem using an inverse matrix. To begin, if we know the transformation of the vector one, one, negative eight, equals the vector one, three, one, then the unknown matrix A times the vector one, one, negative eight must equal the vector one, three, one. Similarly, if the transformation of the vector negative one, zero, six equals the vector two, four, one, then the same matrix A times the vector negative one, zero, six must equal the vector two, four, one. And then finally, if the transformation of the vector zero, negative one, three equals the vector six, one, negative one, then again, the same matrix A times the vector zero, one, negative three must equal the vector six, one, negative one. From here, we want to combine all three equations into one single matrix equation. And we can do this by writing matrix A times a three by three matrix equals another three by three matrix. And the columns of these matrices are formed from the equations that we already know. Notice for the first equation, the vector one, one, negative eight is the first column of the three by three matrix on the left, and the vector one, three, one is the first column of the matrix on the right. Similarly, for the second equation, the vector negative one, zero, six is the second column of the matrix on the left, and the vector two, four, one is the second column of the matrix on the right. And then finally, for the third equation, the vector zero, negative one, three is a third column on the left, and the vector six, one, negative one is the third column in the matrix on the right. And now that we have this matrix equation, we simply have to solve for matrix A to determine the standard matrix or transformation matrix. So the current matrix equation is in the form of A times B equals C. To solve for matrix A, we need to multiply both sides of the equation by the inverse of matrix B, which is the inverse of the three by three matrix here on the left, which gives us matrix A is equal to matrix C times the inverse of matrix B. So the next step is to find the inverse of matrix B, which is the matrix on the left side of the equation. I found this inverse matrix using technology, so the inverse of matrix B is the matrix 631, 531, 621. So now we have the information we need to solve for matrix A. Matrix A is equal to matrix C, which is the three by three matrix on the right, times the inverse of matrix B, which is the inverse of the matrix on the left, and the product is equal to the three by three matrix here on the right, 52, 21, nine for the first row, 44, 23, eight for the second row, and five, four, one for the third row. This is the standard matrix or transformation matrix for the given transformation from R3 to R3. And this is the same matrix that we found when we found the transformations of the standard basis vectors or the vectors E sub one through E sub three in the previous lesson. I hope you found this helpful.